July 1920 with a two-thirds majority necessary for a nomination, former Treasury Secretary, William Gibbs Mikado, had 266 votes on the first ballot, followed by Attorney General A. Mitchell Palmer with 256, Ohio Governor James M. Cox with 134 and New York Governor Al Smith with 109. In the 30th round of voting, Secretary Mikado had taken a 403 half to 401 half lead over Governor Cox, and maintained the lead until the 39th round, when the votes shifted to 468 one half to 440 in Cox's favor. Laura Clay, one of the Kentucky delegates to the Democratic National Convention, became the first American woman to receive a vote for a presidential nomination for a major U.S. political party. On the 33rd ballot, Augusta O. Stanley, the chairman of the Kentucky delegation, cast one of the state's 26 votes for Mrs. Clay. The Democratic Convention finally had a nominee for President of the United States at 1.39 in the morning in San Francisco, as Ohio Governor James M. Cox was picked by delegates on the 44th ballot, with 699 one-half votes cast. Voters in the regions of Allenstein and Marine Werder voted overwhelmingly to remain part of East Prussia. Japan's House of Representatives rejected a resolution to grant women the right to vote, with only 155 in favor and 283 against Vermont's Governor Percival W. Clement declined to call a special session of the state legislature to consider the 19th Amendment on women's suffrage. The Trades Union Congress of the United Kingdom conducted a vote on the future of Ireland, with union members casting card votes overwhelmingly in favor of withdrawing British troops from Ireland and Russia, and establishing a separate Irish parliament. Harding then delivered his acceptance speech, from his front porch, to a crowd of thousands of supporters the Prohibition Party nominated Aaron S. Watkins as its third-party presidential candidate and D. Lee Colvin for vice president, at its convention in Lincoln, Nebraska the Prohibitionists, having accomplished their purpose in ratification of the 18th Amendment to the United States Constitution, would win slightly less than 189,000 votes in the presidential election. Chile's presidential election was decided by two electoral votes a month after the June 25th popular vote, 979926 652 b 9